Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is April 17, 2022. Let's take a look at stocks with the heavy insider as well as institutional buying. When the insider and institution buy the stock, that means they've got conviction and they know a lot more about the company than investors like you and I. And especially I love it when the stock is down and trying to go higher. So we'll start with a quick market update, see what market is doing and let's look at stocks to the volume more than 500k we want to make sure stocks are a little more liquid not very thinly traded stocks and we'll make sure stocks are sold off meaning relative strength index is less than 55 so that we got a good entry point and we'll look at both stocks more than ten dollars for uh, investors and a little bit longer term traders and price less than ten dollars this is a uh, speculation for most part so we got to be savvy about the time so with that let's jump in and get started all right so from a market update perspective look uh, market is very choppy very volatile there is still geopolitical tensions and there's inflation worry and fed um, uh, really trying to bring down the inflation by raising the rates look Dow Jones industrial average down up down up I can see this uh, drama continuing for some more time to come that's why it's a good traders market buy in the dip and then try to sell at the higher level so patience is needed here we got to wait for market to come down which always does come down and then buy and then sell it so as you see here same story uh, S&P 500 up and down nicely big down up now it's uh, trying to go down I think it, it can touch the lower levels and retest the lows also so that's why we got to pay we got to be patient and you know wait for it to come down and slowly accumulate and similar story on the Nasdaq Nasdaq is a little more weaker as you can see here came down nicely uh, went up nicely came down there is a lot of trading opportunity in Nasdaq because it's uh, goes up and down very nicely it's a traders market especially in NQ or Nasdaq uh, and Russell 2000 look it's a little more in a different territory nice uh, volatility compression here and came down from the volatility box and now it's forming one more box right here a volatility box I can see this coming down this box also so that's why you know Russell is a little more weaker Russell and kind of leads other broader market if Russell gets weaker you can expect uh, even Nasdaq and S&P 500 also to roll over so with that look on the positive side we got uh, um, we got gold gold is trying to go higher look uh, whenever there is a tension geopolitical tension what happens everybody flocks into gold nice up channel here in gold and oil is doing well look oil is also nice up channel as you can see here <clears throat> and uh, you know even up here on the down days I would be buying some uh, oil here and even gold they will be good hed hedging strategy and look where the feds uh, tapering down bond buying and selling the bonds look what's going on here bond market is coming down big time and on the contrary when the bond comes down interest rates goes higher that's what's going on here this interest rates going higher can have an impact on uh, the stocks and companies with a lot of uh, debt on their balance sheet and even otherwise you know with the consumers uh, tapering the demand that can have impact on uh, stocks that's why you see a lot of stock getting sold off because interest rates are going higher there's still supply chain issues and the labor shortage and so on and so forth all right now let's look at uh, <clears throat> stocks with a heavy insider buying look we got a list of stocks here all these stocks have got very heavy insider buying and look we got insider buying right here so look all these stocks have got very heavy insider buying stock at the top has got highest insider buying which is this little company JLED uh, this company does uh, uh, the door and uh, even interior exterior door and the products uh, like that but demand is coming down off late that's why it's uh, coming down pretty hard and look we got uh, you know, we got other things going on here we got short ratio also you know many of you love to look at short ratio 
along with insider buying and selling so that gives you some good idea when insiders are buying if the stock has a high short ratio like the one right here tpic that tells you um, insiders are planning to crush those short sellers stock has a good chance to go higher we got a couple of scenarios like that with high short ratio look we got a few more here when insiders are buying when there's a high short ratio that's a good chance uh, they will crush these uh, short sellers and look what's going on keep watching one day five day ten day i love to look at one day five day ten day all along and look few stocks are going higher in one day five day ten day we got a few ones right here look these stocks are trying to you know go higher despite of market uh, meltdown here that tells you there is some strength going on here because insiders are buying that's causing these stocks to go higher you should look at these type of names here we got six flags iaa i heart you should look at such names look at the strength in the near term one day five day ten day that tells you these stocks want to go higher they got support from their their insiders and in some cases institutions and also pay attention to names like groupon here where both insiders as well as institution buying you could do some research on stocks like this one here it could be a good one to buy because both insiders as well as institutions are buying and stock is responding nicely with the one day and 10 day improvements and we got a few more here similar we got navient same story both insiders as well as institutions buying so you should take a look at such situations here and uh, you know buy slowly along with these insiders and institutions all right so we got uh, also you know one thing we want to know about is how the companies has done in the past more importantly we got to understand what the expectation for the company going forward so we got next year eps growth or earnings per share growth and next year revenue growth that tells you how, you know what are the analysts thinking about this company for next year look many of these stocks have got nice next year eps growth as well as revenue growth that tells you even though these stocks are in the dumps right now there's a good expectation the stocks will go higher and some of them have got very 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 high um, expectation here look one here i heart radio here or i heart media look at the expectation for next year it's a very 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 high and you also have to look at the Altman Z score. <clears throat> Altman Z score is the industry standard when it comes to financial stability. So if you're if you're an investor, I say you know look at the Altman Z score. Especially more than one is better. More than one point eight or more than two is uh, much 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 better. I would avoid the stocks the negative Altman Z score. Uh, in here we got one right here with the negative Altman Z score look we got a minus zero one here with the group on you should look at such names a little more carefully they are not financially stable so i would shy away from negative uh, altman z score we got one more here we got uh, rvnc look altman z score is negative that may not be worth your while but look they do have overall score which is higher so if the overall score is higher you could take a chance on those and i also have cash and free cash flow here if you are a little more conservative investor uh, you should look at companies with nice cash and positive cash flow here look first few companies here they got nice cash and positive cash flow here look all these companies they got nice cash and free cash flow you should look at such names here and we got ivz here ivz looks like they do have a lot of cash in the balance sheet and uh, much higher pause free cash flow here you could take advantage of such names like ivz here it's a 20 dollar stock as you can see here look they got two billion dollars cash in balance sheet and 969 million um, dollar free cash flow almost a billion dollar free cash flow you should look at such names here and we got a few more here. We got uh, PFSI, Penny Mac. Look, they also have a lot of money. Uh, it's one of those uh, uh, bank type industry here. Look, overall score is uh, very good here, 75. They got a lot of cash, uh, free cash flow here. You could look at such names here. Stock has come down. And you could look at such names here. As you scan through, we got one with super high uh, overall score here, RCII. RCII has got 81 overall score here. It's also positive cash flow and uh, good cash on the balance sheet. You could look at such a name here. And then you got ATUS here. ATUS also has nice positive cash flow here. 
you could uh, look at that one also here and then go from there and many of you want to see how the stock has done in the past i've got here you know one year two year five year uh, performance here if you are a little more savvy and a little more uh, uh, conservative look at stocks that have that have at least green in two year or five year or even one year for that matter that tells you these stocks can go higher for example we got jled uh, duolingo duolingo is one of my favorite a lot of people are trying to learn languages you could look at such names where um, you know this that's a, that could be a good one here with a lot of catalyst for the future but look at the you know two year five year performance if you see a lot of green there even one year you should uh, look at those things more carefully those could be good ones here we got two here with nice uh, two year and five year performance look we got both peloton as well as not peloton pfsi and aris both have got nice performance um, you know with the two year and five year past performance you could look at such names on the other hand peloton is a um, it, it's a comeback story here they brought in a seasoned executive as a top ceo here uh, he can turn this company around slowly but consistently i would be slowly buying peloton uh, it can also crush the short sellers slowly i think it's a good one for the uh, turnaround type story here all right so let's uh, jump in here i also like perigo here perigo is a good biotech type stock here its stock has been in the dumps for a while i think this can turn around all right let's uh, look at few more here <clears throat> it's a continuation as you can see here look the insider um, buying is uh, you know coming down from top here it's in a descending order and we got few stocks with the institution buying also going on here uh, you know, take a look at these companies here and look at the ones which are trying to improve in one day five day ten day you should uh, put some money there if you are a if you want to get some <clears throat> nice turnaround look we got trip advisor <clears throat> trip advisor has been uh, down for a while now and look it's trying to go higher in one day five day here if she could take a look at such names here trip advisor also has got positive cash in the balance sheet and positive cash flow and we got a few more here we got mac mac also has got positive cash flow and uh, positive uh, you know cash in the balance sheet you could look at such names here and go from there <clears throat> and many of these companies have got high short ratio as you can see here they can cause some uh, short squeeze as they go higher look few few companies are trying to go higher here we got crown and rc here they're trying to go higher in one day and five day and looks like rc is uh, trying to go higher as you can see here for a while now so this one has got uh, rsi 54 i love the one with lower rsi like 35 is a good one i would put my money there for in rc most of the run is all, almost done already as you can see here i would rather go with the with, with little more less rsi <clears throat> all right so let's look at a few more here keep watching what insiders are doing what institutions are doing here it's a uh, tapering down uh, percentage perspective as you can see here and also look at the expectation for the future here i like where, where it's a nice expectation for the future also try to avoid the stocks where altman z score is negative or less than one you got to be careful in those scenarios and go after the stock to the high overall score <clears throat> that way uh, you'll be a little more um, you'll be a little more safer so that we don't get burnt out <clears throat> all right let's look at a few more here and go from there so it's a continuation look uh, the insider uh, percentage is uh, tapering down pretty drastically here one thing caught my eye is bhc here bosch health as many of you know this uh, company does a lot of eye care product uh, products and look stock is down off late here and nice five-year performance as well as two-year performance i would be slowly uh, taking a position in companies like this one here this can also go well and keep watching one day five day here some of these companies are trying to go higher in one day five day for example ohi omega omega is trying to go higher you could look take a look at such companies here and go from there and i love the one with high overall score like ce here look it's got a high overall score of 75 you could look at such names here and we got two more with high overall score here we got uh, both uh, like right here we got one which is netflix uh, netflix uh, as you know it's uh, down off late 
could be okay to slowly take start taking position here around the earnings company can turn around and the next one is mtg here nice overall score you could take a look at that one too and go from there and we've got one more which is a brown bro here brown and brown look it's got high overall score and stock is turning around at this time i would be staying away rsi is 54 little high for me i would wait for a little bit pull more pullback here then i buy bro all right now let's look at uh, heavy insider buying and price less than ten dollars you know this is for many of you you don't want to put money in big tag items big tag stocks you want lower price uh, stocks so let's, let's look at some of those here so here we got list of stocks look all these stocks have got current price less than ten dollars way way less than ten dollars and many of them have got uh, low market cap as you can see here few ones in the red have got very low market cap and look at the insider buying there's a nice and high insider buying in many of these stocks and keep watching sales you, know, you want to make sure companies have got nice top line growth many of these companies have got nice sales growth and also nice gross margin some have got positive net margin if you're a conservative investor you could look at the ones with the positive net margin like kplt here uh, it's got positive net margin of seven percent which is uh, relatively better <clears throat> and we also have got short ratio here look we got nice and high short ratio in many of these names here that tells you these stocks can squeeze those short sellers especially because invest insiders and institutions are buying and finally we got uh, both cash on the balance sheet and free cash flow i like the one with the positive free cash flow and positive cash on the balance sheet and we also have next year what the expectation from analysts many cases they got nice expectation and last but but not least we got altman z and overall score i want altman z to be more than one i like those ones much better if it's less than one like we got few here negative ones here you got to be careful like stocks like ocul and selb both have got negative altman z score tells you financially they're not stable and i like nice and high overall score here like like we got a couple of them here we got uh, one right here 74 xcrs i think it's xcrs look 74 that's a good one i like the one at least more than 50 are much safer and we got one more right here opk stock has been uh, down for a while here uh, this can also start going higher all right we also take a look at one day five day and ten day here if the stock is making some move that's where you're gonna go behind otherwise uh, wait let them make a move so with that look we got b net here bonds and noble looks like stock is trying to go higher very slowly here um, even though financials are not great look 0 0.7 i like this to be more than one or 1.8 you could uh, if you're a um, if you're a contrarian you could put some money here it's trying to go higher in one day and five days as you can see here and then you got few more names trying to go higher here ocul trying to go higher look it's got negative uh, artman z score you got to be contrarian here also to put my put your money especially because financials are not great and keep watching few more here we got uh, you know few more going higher ev lv here this is trying to go higher uh, for a while as you can see here um rsi is 53 that tells you, you got to be you know a little bit slow here let it come down it already went high so much here you got to be a little bit careful in such scenarios i like the one with the rsi less than 50 you're a little more safer there and then we got few more here um we got uh, let's see here uh, the one right here grph graphite graphite look at the rsi rsi is very low here 26 and stock is trying to make a slow move here this is when you can jump in this is one of my perfect situations rsi is low stock is trying to go higher and look there's an insider buying so that's a, one of the perfect situations you can slowly uh, look into such names here and go from there all right now let's look at few more here now as you can see here the insider buying it tapering down as you see here it's uh, coming down 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 but look some some stocks have got nice insider and institution look we got uh, wlf here terra wolf it's got nice institution buying here um and look um looks like we got the volume instead of overall score here that's okay um look we got uh, um you know this this one could be a good one you could uh, 
slowly look at this we got rsi of 33 it looks like my header is messed up here but uh, it's got a um, nice rsi of 33 here and stock is uh, let's let's do one thing let's try to just change this uh, header here so we can look at this a little more carefully all right so let me swap this header here uh, we got a different header all right i think this could be much better here let's, let's take a look at this one here <clears throat> so as you see here we got uh, we got inside an institution we are looking at wlf here so look wlf uh, is still going down as you can see here uh, we, we could take a look at such names and uh, see if it's worth uh, buying here and we got a few more here keep watching inside an institution here um, and you want nice and high it's uh, tapering down as you can see here all right so with that uh, let's uh, wrap it up here uh, thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe